there guys, welcome back to Courtney's Cooking Show. Wait, that's not right. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making oatmeal gel. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to be making gel for my hair made entirely from oatmeal. So if you are brand new to this channel, hi, my name's Courtney and I love playing around with the curly girl method. And I have done several DIY hair things on this channel. In the past, I have done beer rinses, apple cider vinegar rinses, I have made flaxseed gel and I've made gelatin hair masks. So if you want to hang out with me some more, you are welcome to go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I upload, click that notification bell. That way you don't miss a video. So without further ado, let's get to making this oatmeal gel. Clearly my hair is needing some help. I am on day three at this point. I'm needing to wash my hair and bonus. Bonus, this video is going to feature a 100% zero waste routine, which I'm very excited about, but I'll be talking more about that when we head into my bathroom. But yeah, all right, let's make oatmeal gel, shall we? I'm going to put my hair back up. All right, I got all my supplies gathered and now I'm ready to get started. This recipe is so easy to make. All you do is use two cups of water, I sound like I'm on the Food Network. This recipe is so easy, so easy, but it really is. It's just two ingredients. You could add a third ingredient if you wanted to, but you don't have to. I have two cups of water in the, my pot and about three tablespoons of oats. I'm using old fashioned rolled oats, I think. I'm not using the quick one minute oats. I have seen other people use the one minute oats and it works but I have been using the old fashioned non one minute oats for mine. And I'm gonna stir it. Right now I have everything on high heat and I'm just gonna bring it up to a boil. I have learned the hard way that when you're making oatmeal gel, you really want to actually stay and watch the pot boil because if you don't, it's gonna boil over on you real quick. This is something that I've made a mess with quite often. So while we're waiting for this to boil, I thought I would go ahead and tell you some of the benefits of oatmeal gel. First off, it's really fun to make hair care products. Am I the only one who feels like making your own hair care products is like a blast? Comment down below and let me know. But oatmeal is very, very soothing. It has a lot a lot, a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. Remember when you used to get like rashes when you were little and your mom would throw you in an oatmeal bath? Best thing ever. I still do that now for my dry, itchy, flaky skin in the winter. It's heavenly. And the reason that it's so hydrating and soothing is that oats have a lot of B vitamins in them, which act like humectants. Humectants being that magical ingredient that grabs water out of the air and holds it close to itself. So oatmeal gel tends to be very, very nourishing, very, very moisturizing to the hair, while also having pretty decent hold out of all the homemade gel recipes I've made. This this gives me the best hold. Now, if your hair is a coarser hair texture, meaning that each individual strand is wider than someone with fine hair, my hair is really, really fine. In case you didn't know, I'm about to have this boil over on me. <laughs> Turning down the heat. I'm gonna be timing this for you to let you know exactly how long it goes for, but I'm gonna be very careful to stand here and keep stirring it so that I don't make a mess on my freshly cleaned stove top. Yes, I cleaned my stove top for you. Where was I? I was saying that if you have coarser hair, you could add about a teaspoon of the oil of your choice. So if you know that your hair really, really loves 
coconut oil. You could put coconut oil in this, or you could put your favorite hair oil in. So if you really love Righteous Roots oil, you could put that in, or the Jesse Curl hair oil. I think they have an oil blend, or something like the Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir. That, if I felt like putting in an oil, that's what I would do. My hair is really, really fine, and so I don't feel like it needs the oil. I feel like the oatmeal gel in and of itself gives it enough nourishment and hydration. All right, I have let this go for about five minutes and I'm really, really happy with how it's looking. Sorry, didn't mean to hit y'all's heads against the microwave, but you can see that it's looking pretty slimy. One of the tests that you can do is you can check and see if it's doing the string thing. If it is stringing on you a little bit, that will let you know that it's done. I really like this because it seems like I can make this super quickly. I only had to boil for five minutes and I feel good about the consistency that I have. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour this out into a strainer and let it drip. Make sure to scrape all the extra slimy jelly goodness that I can get. Make sure I've got everything in. There we go. And then I'm just going to strain it out. I do want to mention if you do eat oatmeal, it does can like the nutritional facts on the back of the oatmeal will tell you contains five grams of protein per serving. This does not mean that this gel contains protein in the sense that it would act like a protein product for your hair. The reason is, is that those proteins that are in the oatmeal are whole intact proteins. These have not been hydrolyzed. So the protein molecule is just too big to penetrate into the hair shaft and help reconstruct the hair from the inside out. But those proteins that are in the oatmeal actually do act like film forming humectants and help lend to the moisturizing properties and to the hold of the gel. I've got my gel now strained out. It's looking real good. I'm going to let this cool and then I will transfer it into my trusty handy dandy bottle that I got from Sally's. Definitely going to be using a funnel for this, but I'll be back once it's cooled down. Alrighty, I actually stuck my oatmeal gel in my freezer so that it would cool off faster and it thickened up a lot. So just know that you do get a good gel-like consistency. I'm now just transferring it into this bottle that I've had for a very long time. And there we go. That is about how much gel you get from this recipe. This would last me for three to four wash days, but you kind of need to use this up within a week of having made it. So since I wash my hair like three times a week, this would be just about right for one week's worth of wash days. You do keep it in your fridge when you're not using it to help it not go bad. Always check it before you put it in your hair, like sniff test, does it smell funky yet? And if it does smell funky, maybe just take a few minutes and make you a new batch. But let's go ahead and go into my bathroom and I'll show you exactly how I use this. So you may be looking for the products that I'm gonna be using and going, I don't see any products back there. That's because as I alluded to earlier, this routine is zero waste. I've actually been getting questions about shampoo bars and conditioner bars. I haven't tried every single shampoo and conditioner bar out there, but I kind of don't want to anymore. I've tried several and of the ones I've tried, these are by Vita Bars. They were actually sent to me. Thank you, Anna, so much for sending these over. These have been so much fun and they are really high quality. Most of the time when I'm using a shampoo bar or a conditioner bar, I don't feel like my hair gets really clean and I feel like there's a film of oil on my hair from the conditioner bars. These feel 
just like traditional shampoo and conditioner that's like Curly Girl Method approved as if it came from a bottle, but you're getting zero waste from these. So that's really cool. And making your own oatmeal gel, especially if you eat the oatmeal, <laughs> it's zero waste. All right, let's get straight into washing the hair. I will definitely have these linked down below so that you can go check those out. She's got several different varieties, which is really, really cool. All right, these are actually really, really easy to use. You just kind of warm them up in your hands a little bit and they do get frothy. And then I like to take the shampoo bar and kind of just rub it on my hair. Not too much. Don't do this too much because wow, these are lathery. You just kind of hit the high points. I kind of take it wherever my hair gets the greasiest. And once I feel like I've gotten just a tiny bit on there, I start scrubbing my scalp as per usual. And then I'm always very surprised at how much shampoo I actually did get. Like seriously, I feel like I only grab a tiny amount and they get so lathery. How awesome is that? You activate these with water. So now I've just dumped the conditioner into the water and I'm warming it up in my hands, just taking it around and around. I actually really like the shape of these two. I've used some shampoos and conditioner bars that have like funky shapes and I find that they're really slippery and kind of hard to hold on to. These round shapes, I feel like I can really get a good grip on and then they're not shooting all over my tub or shower. I actually love traveling with these. They're small, they're compact. I'm not gonna get stopped by airport security for having liquids in my bag when we used to travel in the airports. Anyway, I just kind of smooth this over the dry, rough areas of my hair, similar to what I did with the shampoo. I like applied it in targeted areas and once I feel like I've gotten kind of a nice smooth coating, I will start working it in with my fingers, finger detangling. Once I've got my hair thoroughly finger detangled, I finish distributing the conditioner through my hair with the Perfect Hair Care brush. I really like distributing conditioner with my fingers first because I can really feel where the tangles and knots are but I do get much better conditioner distribution if I brush. So I do like doing both every single time. There we go. I'm doing a little bit of a squish to condition with this. I forgot to add more water to my hair. So I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> This really helps get you a good squish to condition. There we go. Now I am just going to reorganize my curl clumps a little bit. I really like to push the hair away from my face and then pull the hair off the sides of my face so that nothing's really, really stuck in a weird spot. And then I pull the hair off the back of my head Really make sure nothing is stuck. Make sure that everything is really moving. Now I'm just grabbing my oatmeal gel. Oh dear, I may have made it too thick. Eesh. There we go. 
grabbing kind of a lot for me, but it's okay. This is gonna work great. Glazing it over. Roping it in. And scratching. I'm really feeling like I need to add just a tiny bit of water to this. Maybe a lot of bit of water. Maybe not so tiny. There we go. Good squishy sounds. Just stood up and shook the hair off the back of my head so that nothing was stuck. Because as soon as you start adding water, it kind of wants to re-plaster itself to the back of your head. So I stood up and shook it off. Shake it off, shake it off. With an ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, that is how the curl clumps are looking. Like, I'm kind of excited about this. I'm gonna go plop my hair for about 10-ish minutes with my perfect hair care towel and then diffuse for probably about 30 minutes. That should get my hair to 90% dry and then I'll be back to scrunch out the crunch and show you the results. All right guys, here I am. My hair is 100% dry and it's many, many, many hours after my hair is actually 100% dry. Yes, I got caught up doing other things. I'm sorry about that. I may or may not have gone to pick up my child from preschool with my hair still slightly damp and in the cast. I'm sorry. I haven't scrunched out the crunch. I've just been letting it dry and chill and hang out, but it actually doesn't look too bad in the cast. It's looking pretty cute. But this is the best part of wash day, so I am going to scrunch out the crunch and fluff it because that releases the curls from their gel cast and makes them big and shiny and pretty. So here we go. Be free from your gel cast prison. Show off your full wavy curly glory. Wow, I'm so goofy and weird. Ooh. Hello, school bus. You have very squeaky brakes. All right, here we go. Here are the results. See the difference? Like, it makes a difference when you scrunch out the crunch. My hair's like pretty and fluffy and flowy now. Let me turn around and show you the back. Also, when I flip upside down and I really fluff my roots, it breaks up any weirdness that may be happening. Also, doing this number kind of helps if you're having a wonky root situation. There was one more thing I wanted to mention about zero waste routines. I have done one, I've actually done two before on this channel, but with the same company, same products. A Simple Planet is 100% zero waste. So if you don't feel like making your own homemade oatmeal gel, you should totally check out A Simple Planet. I really like her gels. She's got flaxseed gel and aloe gel. They work beautifully, but I'm rather impressed. I really enjoy doing this on occasion, especially if my folliculitis is really flaring up, if my scalp is just super sensitive and I need to give it a break from all products and give it like its own oatmeal bath. <laughs> this is what I do. Also, the Vita shampoo and conditioner bars are super natural, very, very clean, and they don't inflame my scalp. Has anybody else been struggling with mask knee? Thank you for makeup, but I find that 
using this kind of routine when my skin is flaring up, when my scalp is flaring up. It's just good times all around. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.